We do have an issue with the gophers. Yeah. One of them chewed off the tomato plant. Since I went outside, this one has been active. It will take out these plants. So I need to get rid of them. And I would do anything other than what I'm gonna do. If I could find a way to get rid of them other than how I'm gonna do it, I would do it. But I'm gonna use a trap. The thing I need to do is I need to dig around and try to find the actual hole. Usually you can see where they where they were coming up. It might be here. I need to find their run. What? I'm just gonna dig around. What? We need to find the run. That means the tunnel that they're, oops, there it is. So I, here's the tunnel. Come on. And there's also a little bit So it's going back this way and that way. So I'm gonna need to put a trap going that way and that way. Now gophers are solitary animals, which means they live alone in their burrows, unless it's a female with babies. So once I catch whoever's in this run, I will just keep my eyes open for new mounds in the garden and then keep going. So I'm using a standard metal trap, a stake, like a tent stake, and some twine. I'm just gonna get myself a section of twine and cut it. Like a tank. I've tied the twine to the stake and I'm tying the other end to the trap. This is so that if one gets trapped, it can't run off with the trap and I, I don't want to lose it. I do run off with traps, so this is really important to put a string or something to it, attach it to a stick or whatever you have so that you don't lose your trap. Other animals might too. They might see the gopher in the trap and try to take the whole gopher with the trap. So it's important to stake them down securely. So this has to be, go over this. And then the end here goes back into that like that. And then the gopher comes through. It's horrible. So I'm gonna put one gently through here. I'm, I'm hoping I don't have to widen the hole. I know. I don't want it to pinch either. I want oh. Okay, it went too far and it... So I'm going to have to dig my hole out a little bit. I thought I might. This hit the top of the run and it popped it shut. Mm -hmm. Let's try this again. Be real gentle. I think I dug it out enough this time. Yeah. Maybe. So I'm gonna leave that one there, just like that. Maybe the go. The then I'm gonna put this down all the way. Whoa, the Definitely, I will never check a trap with a toddler with me, ever. Back. I might need to, I don't know if I'm gonna have to make this wider. A spider? No, wider. I might have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make it wider. Okay, I'm gonna carefully put this in here. Two of them, one in, going down each tunnel area. That's super important. You don't know where they are under there, and so you need to do it on both sides. I want to make sure no light goes down in that tunnel. So I'm gonna cover it with this sheet of paper packaging. And I'm just gonna put this on here to help keep the paper in place and help keep it dark. I'm gonna set another set down here. This is the next freshest mound. It could be, it could be the gopher that lives there. It, this could be his mound also, I don't know. I know they're solitary creatures and so they live alone in their tunnels, but I don't know how close they live within their tunnels. Like I don't know how close their tunnels are together. I'll do the same thing over here. I'm gonna try to find, I, I see one hole here. But I want to go down and find the main run. This is just a run. This is just a hole coming out of the main run. I need to find the main run where it goes two different ways. Okay, I found this one hole. It, I don't know if it keeps going underneath. I don't. I'm gonna have to. I'm having Are a hard time find finding this it. I don't like to just set it going one way, but this was a freshly used entrance, so I'll just go ahead and go for it. So it's in there.
cover it up so the light can't get in like that. Sometimes if I don't have something heavy, I just cover it back over with some of the dirt. Today was the first day I started setting traps. I'm just gonna see if this one is still... Oh, look at that, it got filled in. My guess is it's spring, but there's nothing there because it got filled in. Yep. That means, that tells me there is an active gopher around still, so. I need to keep going. Okay, it's been about four and a half hours. I just took my granddaughter home and we already got one. I don't want to show it to you because I think it's offensive to some people, but see how this one's down? That one's been tripped. And see how that one's still standing up? That one has not. I hate this. I hate killing gophers. I feel horrible. They're so cute. They're just trying to live like everyone else, but they will actually decimate this garden. One time I had a nice, big long double row of carrots and I just let the gophers go and I thought, you know, there's tons of carrots we can share. I didn't get any carrots. They actually destroyed the entire row. You could just see, you could see, I kind of built, did them on a mound. You could see them actually sink down into the ground as they pulled them down in their run. And I thought, okay, we'll lose a few, but I lost everything. So since then I make sure that I trap gophers. So I have a rule at school, you don't kill anything unless you plan on eating it because Crickets and stuff get into the classroom at times and the kids just want to go smash them, which is... I value life more than just smashing a bug because you can. So, that's my rule. If you're going to kill it, you eat it. Well, if one of my students ever happens to see this video in the future and you're like, Hey, Miss Thompson, you told us we had to eat anything we killed. Well, technically, technically, eventually I will be eating this gopher. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to reset this and put it back in the hole just in case there happens to be more because the mamas tend to have their babies in the springtime. So they're probably, and they only raise them for like five weeks. So they're probably mostly raised by now, but who knows? I'll be burying our friend here in the garden. And you know, when things die, they decompose. And then the nutrients that their bodies contain get absorbed by everything around them. So eventually the plants that are growing in this area will absorb the nutrients from the gopher. We kind of end up partaking it of his nutrition through the vegetables, right? That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, I hate, I, mm, it actually makes me feel really, really bad to have to, to have to get rid of them. Like really, really bad, like I feel sad. On here I have the two traps. Oh, a beetle right there, see? Not sprung, not sprung. So there might not be any other gopher in here. So I need to look for fresh mounds and see where the activity's going so I know where to set the traps. Right there, obviously he's been there. I'm actually not seeing fresh new mounds anywhere. Ooh, that wasn't here yesterday. Of course it's between my green beans. So I'm gonna have to tear them up a little bit and see what I can find. Let's keep looking. Oh. Okay, no. Coda, my granddaughter played in these, so I can tell these are not fresh. That might be fresh, I don't know. Look at this tomato is gone. Totally gone. Okay, I didn't I didn't plan properly. I didn't bring my shovel out. But I gotta get in here. Do something about this. With my bare hands. We'll just go old school here. Okay, yeah, I feel. So it definitely goes that way. I don't have a shovel. I'm just gonna set one right here. Even though I I don't like to do that. I like to, I need to dig it out and set it properly. But for now, I'm just gonna set it right here because I don't have the big shovel or the little shovel. It's set, but it's gonna be too narrow. I can tell. So let me dig this out a little bit better. It's, it's gonna be too narrow. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna What I'm gonna do is I'm just not gonna put it, I'm not gonna put it down very far because I do not want it to snap. 
Okay, normally you would dig it out farther and put it in farther. I'm just gonna put it there though. I'm gonna cover this up. There we go. And I don't want it to get away. This is the original place where I caught the one gopher. My guess is nothing is disturbed. Right, so I'm gonna pull these out of here and see where else they might need to go. This one is caught something, I believe. Yeah, I don't like to show the little creatures on camera. I just feel like it's, it's, I know it's offensive to some people and my grandchildren, I don't come out here and trick the traps with them because they would be so sad and horrified because they have, they're cute little animals and they're just trying to live their best life. So I'm gonna go ahead and bury it. And I am thankful that I caught it. I don't wanna eat any of my plants, but I do feel bad. Well, it's Thursday morning. I just got out to the garden. These two traps I didn't take care of yesterday and they are still alive. Since Monday, I've caught two gophers out here, and now this morning, I see absolutely no new mounds or disturbances, no dead plants. So I think for this moment, I caught what was in the garden, but I will still have to keep my eyes out every single day, and just because more will move in. I'm just gonna fill this in so nobody steps in it. It's been about five weeks since I first started planting this garden and catching gophers. And I've caught six of them so far. And every day I'm out here, I just peek around and see if it looks like there's any gopher activity so I can get to work. Now, if I can do this, you can do this. It's not that hard. It's just kind of, it's a little hard on your heart, but it's not that hard otherwise. This is the school field right up against the garden. And there are tons of mounds out here just tons. I know that any creatures out there are gonna make their way into where this great food source is. And if they were moles, I could care less. I would just let them do their business because they actually eat insects and grubs and things and that's okay. But gophers, they eat the vegetation, so that's not okay. If you're not sure what kind of little creature is in your garden, I have a video that I will link below in the description box that will show you how to identify by looking at the mounds. It's really not that hard, you just have to know how. I'll tell you some of the damage that's been done by the gophers. This is a plant that was getting eaten. Squash, other one, other one. Mention the giant holes that they leave in the parts where it's like really sandy here. And so sometimes you don't see the mound because the soil's really loose and they just leave tons of holes. And they've completely eaten a couple of our tomato plants. 